Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay! So, some of you might be wondering, what is this community build? Uh, some of you guys have been around to experience my last community build and what I did for all of that, and this is pretty much the same thing. The community build is a project that was set up by Mr. Naughty Games. Yes, Mr. Naughty Games, the same one that I feature in pretty much most of my videos at the end. Uh, he has set all of this up and have gotten a bunch of these people together, including myself, to come together and just build some amazing stuff just because. And I do have to say this is pretty freaking awesome. I'm, I'm really, really happy to be a part of this and to join in and just add my own little efforts to our effort to colonize the entire solar system as far as I know that's kind of the plan so I'm really happy to be involved and I'm sorry once again um, this is kind of to you guys who have been waiting in line for basically a long time for me to create my module and all that good stuff I do apologize for that I've had a lot of unforeseen circumstances arise in the last couple weeks and I really haven't been able to do very much in general as far as recording or doing anything with my channel in general so I'm sorry and uh, definitely if I do get a chance to actually add something sometime in the future hopefully it isn't this much of a delay so yeah so I decided that I was going to do both of the ground base and the station I believe Nothi asked me to do both or to choose one or something like that now I do remember that the community guidelines even though I don't really remember all of the guidelines as far as the construction is concerned I do believe the station come on turn there we go I do believe the station had a limit of something like basically about 40 parts or 40 to 60 and the same with the ground base I believe it was like 60 parts or 40 parts but altogether um, my both my separate builds if you were to actually count the parts they're both about 45 ish so I, I tried to keep it because I, I could not remember I, I before I recorded I tried to keep everything absolutely perfect but I'm trying to stick to the guidelines and the rules I'm not trying to you know step on anyone's toes or screw anything up around here but yeah so hopefully we can get into orbit here I'm really really unsure of this whole that was amazing I'm really unsure of this whole launch stage I really didn't set up the greatest launch stage and also we didn't get that great of a takeoff so I am not a hundred percent satisfied with all of this and we're not even yeah yeah that that that's just not good. There we go. Let's get this a little bit higher. Let's get it about 70. 70 is good. 70 is fantastic. So let's see. Uh, there we go. And, oh, that's that's not good. Let's see. Um... There we go. I don't know why, but I get this bug every now and again where it just does some really wonky, crazy stuff. So let's let's just get this a little bit higher here. I think we should be pretty good on fuel. I don't think I'm going to have to use this stage at all as far as getting into orbit, which is what I planned. I kind of wanted to... S I set up like a very lightweight stage in order to get us into orbit, which I believe is working out pretty well, but... I could have some problems here. Unforeseen problems. But that that's always the best part. The, the, definitely the best part. Come on. Let's go. Let's get ourselves into orbit. Shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. Amazing. That is amazing. So yeah, anyways guys. I will see you once we get to the station.
and we've reached the station, guys. It's amazing stuff. It's taken a little while. I used a little bit too much fuel, and I didn't really set up the node to get there 100% the right way, but I'm not complaining, so everything worked out just the way I wanted it to, and I would have used the same amount of fuel either way. So the first thing I will be adding is our fuel tank, and I haven't really had a lot of ideas on exactly where to add it, but I was figuring right here it would be perfect. Um, I, I just got to kind of shimmy this thing over and try to get it exactly the way I want it. I, I'm not sure. I was going to come down and just kind of plop it right on top. Now I think I might put it sideways. I'm not sure. It, this... Eh. It's really hard to work with stuff that you never designed before, or that you did not design, so it's just kind of a pain in the butt. The one thing I will say, though, is I feel like I'm always kind of like the, uh, so to speak, like, you know, I make up for all the things that the station doesn't have, so to speak. I, I, I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but... Uh, this station doesn't really have a extreme or, a, if anything, a large fuel source as far as being able to store a large amount, which I feel like I'm always the one that kind of adds these little things like that, so I, I don't know. It, along with the storage for the Kerbals, too, I, I feel like I'm the only one who took that into consideration. The one thing I will say, though, is that the station is looking pretty awesome. I'm really happy to be a part of this build and everything else. This thing isn't really lining up the way I want it either. I'm trying to make it perfectly straight, which I know is probably not going to happen. But let's see. We can control from here. And this probably is going to screw everything up. But... I'm just trying to make sure I don't hit these solar panels over here because that just won't be good stuff. So let's come on. Come on. Let's see. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave it like that. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of issues controlling this thing with the RCS, but I don't think it's going to cause too much of a problem. I do have a lot of RCS ports on here, so I'm pretty much okay with the fact that um, this isn't really going to take me very much time to do. So, come on. I, I'm not really too concerned with the amount of RCS I'm going to be using either, because just once again, I brought a massive amount of RCS fuel. I kind of overcompensated a little bit too much, but a lot of it had to do mostly with aesthetics and just making things look good, which I, I really like making things look really nice. I don't know about you guys, but I just can't stand it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I know that not everything in this game has a function or a reason to just have it. Why isn't that um, showing up as a target? It should be showing up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, yeah, there we go. Well, I guess I'll just have to eye it then. It ain't going to be that bad. I'm just going to make sure that this thing is going to be perfectly lined up, which it probably isn't going to be. So. Oh, God. There we go. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nope. There we go. All right, that's looking good. Just got to cancel out this little bit of motion that we got. Um, yeah, there we go. We need to be going down. Oh, this thing has completely screwed me up. All right, all right. That's good. That That's more than good. So we need to be going down. There we go. That, that was our main problem, I think, is that we were just heading away. Come on. 
All right, we're a little off. That's, that's not too bad, though. We got fairly decent control, too. I did put a lot of SAS units on here, and that's mostly for when we get close to the ground. That will come in handy. Come on. There we go. All right, all right, all right. All right. That way. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right, this should line up ever so nicely. Oh, we're off a little bit. Nope, 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 nope. Back way. Back, 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 back. Grab. Grab. There we go. Oh, turn off the RCS, too. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a connection. Uh, that, you know what? I'm okay with this. It's fairly lined up. I didn't expect it to be too good, and we're also getting some problems with the node even showing... I don't know what the problem is with that, so we'll decouple this. There we go. And we'll switch back. And oh god. <laughs> oh what what is why is this shaking? That does not look good. Alright, we'll go forward a little bit. That is so crazy. Kinda not good too, I'm expecting the Kraken to like destroy this thing right now for some reason. Holy crap. So yeah, that was the first little piece I wanted to add. The second piece will be a basically a storage for the Kerbals and all that other good stuff. I, we just don't have any storage spots on our bases and I, I don't understand why. It should be like one of the number one things that comes to mind is basically storage. There we go. We just gotta go down a little bit. I don't want to put too much forces on this thing. Screw anything up. Hold on. I'm just gonna... There we go. This might cancel out that craziness. Oh, nope, nope, it's back. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, so we'll, we'll just get this out here. And uh, we're going to have to do a roll here soon. And also kind of cancel out all that motion. Let's see. Uh, stop that. That is not the way we want to be going. There we go. Perfect. So let's see. Uh, we got to roll. But once again, I really do want to thank Nothy Games for inviting me and involving me in all of this. I know that I haven't been active for a while, and I do apologize for all that once again. And, you know, I, I really didn't want to inconvenience anyone uh, with the fact that I basically took way too long to even upload or do anything with any of this so I, I do want to apologize for all of that and I just want to make sure that uh, everything's all good that's all I right, go up 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 there we go perfect so I'm really expecting that this ground base is going to take me a long time to get set up because there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the surface. At least once we get down there, there's going to be a lot of work for me. That's that's the one thing I do got to say. I do got to... The... What is it? The car design that I saw actually looks really cool and I can't wait to mess around with it a little bit, but right now it's all strictly work as far as I see. So come on, go on. There we go. Perfectly lined up. So I'm going to do a little bit of RCS transfer and then uh, I'll see you once we're going to get close to the surface because this is going to take me a little while to get everything all set up. But let's see. There we go. Perfect. So we'll deploy these panels. I didn't really add anything too extravagant to this other than having two more kerbals in orbit. Actually, it should be four more. Yeah, yeah, four more Kerbals into orbit, and uh, we got some Xenon, and a little bit of RCS storage, and th that should be about it. So, anyways guys, I'll see you once we get closer to the surface.
So it seems like everything's going pretty good. I, I'm a little unsure about all of this, but I'm going to slow down, at least for right now, and I'm going to get rid of our last little stage here, and then I'm going to switch over to our Sky Crane and, uh, you know, basically see what we can get. I'm not sure. All right, come on. Slow down. All right, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a... Yeah, there we go. That That works. Let me just see if all the fuel is still in this stage. Alright. Yeah, that's looking good. Alright, we'll get rid of that. We'll just see if this stage has enough power. Yeah, it does. Everything's looking really, really, really good. So I'll put the gears down. That is amazing. So we'll bring this over. We're going to have to bring this over just a little bit. Not not too much. Just because I, I'm a little unsure on where this thing's going to go. I'm afraid it's going to go towards the base. But I really hope it doesn't. Because that will just cause a lot of problems. A lot more than I need to deal with right now. So come on. Alright. That looks awesome. Please don't go towards the base. Everyone got to watch like... That's amazing, though. You think about it, you're like sitting at this base, and all of a sudden, this stage just comes raining down from the sky. <laughs> oh, that's great. So we gotta come down going fairly slow, but I'm not 100% against, you know, kind of a little bit faster. I just gotta make sure I know where the docking ports are on this thing, because I'm still a little unsure about all of that right now. So, slow down. There we go. Perfect. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh my god. I, I should have put a little bit more supports on the... Oh god. There we go. Now in hindsight, I should have probably put a few more extra supports on this thing. Just to uh, make sure that everything is definitely... Alright, there we go. So it looks like we can dock up right over here. But yeah, I definitely should have put a little bit more supports on this thing because, wow, the, the almost all the engines survived. That's amazing. All right, come on. Oh, so much stuff. Let's get this thing on the other side. Oh god, there we go. I always forget how hard it is to use sky cranes, and then I realize how friggin' annoying sky cranes are after I build one. So I hope everyone in there is hanging tight, at least inside these, I mean, you know, they're just kind of floating around right now, let me just deal with it. Alright, there we go, slow down a little bit more. Now we gotta decide which side I'm going to put the doors on, and I'm not sure yet. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That's not good. Luckily, we got a plenty of SAS on here to keep control. It doesn't seem like anything got damaged. Luckily, no docking ports fell off. Alright, so what side are we going to go with? As far as being the side of the base, I think we can go with just what we got right now. That it should work. This is going to be the 
biggest pain in the butt ever. Alright, so let's see. That, that. Alright, this is going to work out pretty well. The uh, controls for the sky cranes is just a little bit annoying. As long as you get it set up the right way, you're alright, but um, definitely there's a very big learning curve to these things, and if you don't do it the right way or you don't set up your controls the right way, definitely can cause a lot of problems. There we go. It looks like these are close enough right now, but... I didn't really intend to be that close on the first take, but, you know, whatever, I'll go with it. As long as it works, let's see, alright, we need to go backward a little bit. Backwards, and turn, turn a little bit, wiggle it around, that does not sound right, go forward. Let's see, can it get connected yet? Is it... Either the docking ports are right inside each other, otherwise they're just super freaking close. Yeah, they're just really... They're pretty much inside of each other right now. That does not sound right. So let's see. Uh, they're fairly close. I, I suppose I could lower the leg here. And then maybe it will give us a little bit of a better connection. The problem is, is that these things aren't lined up perfect with the absolute perfect height. So because of that, it, it causes a lot of problems. And there we go. We got a perfect con connection. So we'll lower these back down again. And then we'll be set up with the perfect height again. At least hopefully. I've been doing this base stuff for way too long to know exactly what's wrong with certain things when, just by looking at it. And uh, I'm not knocking anyone that helped build this base in any kind of way. That's not what I intend or what I mean when I say that. But it everything needs to be like perfectly lined up. Otherwise, it, a lot of problems will occur. So that that's basically where I'm coming from with uh, that. Everything just needs to be perfectly lined up, otherwise a lot of problems. You, you start getting yourself involved with a lot of problems that cannot be solved any other way. Oh god, come over. Come over. There we go, perfect. So this thing should be stable, at least somewhat. What are we looking at on fuel? We got probably way more than what we need definitely way more than what we need so let just twist this around oh god didn't mean to hit that please nothing break all right just twist this around a little bit more oh god yeah there we go so i should be oh god why is it going that way <laughs> oh this is not good there we go get this thing leveled out a little bit just bring it down nice and gently now we need to twist around oh god no nope this way there we go there we go still a little too involved it's been a while since I've done anything with uh, a sky crane before it's definitely interesting to say the least I'm glad I at least have some experience to fall back on using these things, so. Let's twist this guy around. And then we'll get our second little hab docked up here. Now these roughly are about the same as what I put on the moon. The ones on the moon I did have some problems with. That was a really big pain in the butt as far as setting those up. That setting these things up on a slope is just by far the most annoying thing you could do so that's the one thing i will say is try to find a very very flat surface if you're going to be using a sky crane otherwise you're just asking for all kinds of problems that's all that's all i can say because every time i've used one of these on a, a not flat surface just some kind of a slope even a very minor slope causes just insane amounts of problems you don't know if you're lined up 
you don't know which way you're going you can't you can't align your your uh, sky crane you can't actually get it zeroed out so that you're not when you are running your engines you're not floating in one specific direction or what have you so th that causes just insane amounts of problems so we'll go over here and I think we should be able to get a docking here very quickly yeah, there we go just go this way and perfect so I'll probably keep the sky crane here for anyone who wants to use it or whatever once again I'll put some fuel I'll take some fuel out of the sky crane as well and just kind of throw it off in the corner I guess we could call this like the unofficial sky crane of this base or what you know the whatever you want to call it that's all I can say but it, it looks amazing and I'm fairly happy with how this came out I, I do say that there probably is a few minor problems here and there you can see this leg is a little jittery but that's just normal when you build ground bases there's a lot of jitteriness involved with the parts just not lining up or just something. That That's usually just how it works out most of the time. Now let's see, did I take all the fuel out of here just to make sure before I take off that I don't destroy this thing? So, alright, we'll go, we'll go this way. Oh god, I did not want to do that. Oh god. There we go. Perfect. So let's just do this real quick. Quick lag. There we go. These things are fun to use, but once again, I do say have a little bit of caution when you're using them because it is not a simple thing to really master flying these things. There we go. Just bring it down nice and gently. Turn off the RCS. There we go. Everything's shut down. And, uh, yeah, so now we got our base with at least two, or, well, no, it's eight. You can store eight Kerbals inside here, which should be more than enough. I kind of wanted to add on more, but the part limit kind of limited me, but, you know, that's what we got. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, uh, come to my channel, subscribe, or, you know, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.